So we're going to play Soma. For those of you who have not heard of Soma, Soma is by the Amnesia Guys um, by Friction Games. I was very excited for this because it looked really creepy, um, but it seemed very subtle and not so much like a me amnesia where it was like, ah, I've got this thing after me. So I'm excited to play this. I don't know anything about it. Um, I don't know how creepy it is. I don't know if there are chases. All I know are the, the teasers that they shared, um, which are kind of vague. Um, and I know a lot of people said they took inspiration um, from, I forgot what it's called, but they took inspiration from like a something else, so. So I've got comments up on my phone, um, and I'm ready to go, so I'm going to play, and we're going to go from there. I just game this, so you can barely make out details on the robot poster to the left. I can barely, I can barely make out the details to the robot. Um. Yeah, okay, I think that's good. Headphones, remote play, night mode, small TV, medium TV. That's a medium TV. Never seen that medium TV. <laughs> English, hints off, video distortion effects. Oh wait, no, hints are on. Color separation on, simple interaction icons. No subtitles? Controller sensitivity, gamma, yeah, audio, subtitles on, please. Wait, we got subtitles and closed captioning. Um, off. Alright. Fun times. Probably gonna have to turn on my light soonish. Or open my blinds one or the other. Actually, I'm gonna open my blinds. Don't do anything while you load. And then there was light. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. My name's oh, not that, Simon. That's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding due the accident. What? Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Ashley, I'm pregnant. Please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. <laughs> Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? I don't remember the size of my TV. For what? But I'm pretty sure it'd be considered a new TV. <laughs> Did we get in a car accident? Where am I? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, objects can be interacted with. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett. Yeah, that's no. me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah. No. Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It will help me capture, me capture better 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 Don't worry, I I got it somewhere. Okay, great. I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay. Where did I put it? <laughs> did I just put it in my chest? <laughs> oh, okay, can I fix my bed? Wah! Oh god, this feels like... <laughs> Wee! Oh, I barely threw that. Come on, let's really throw it. Brah! You're a bad thrower. You're a really bad thrower. Whoa. I slapped myself in the face with a pillow. Alright, back on the bed, you. There we go. Where did I put the tracer for? That spoon is just... <laughs> okay, nope, it's it's a magic cup. Yeah, it's a magic cup. Okay, put, put that back there.
Oh, no. I'm trying to grab things. It's kind of specific. No. Hey! I wear my sunglasses at night so I can see. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Why can't I, like, pick up the, the thing that looks readable? Oh, wait, that, that close. It's important. Hooks. This is a real book. Mark and Diana Miller has finally caught a break, and they've managed to save up enough money to take the family on their vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Di Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled, screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tent. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying. Hooked. We'll pull you in. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Well, that was, what was this? What even is that? Oh, it's a camera! I think. Camera, you can go. Right. Well, you know, I missed the... I <laughs> missed the desk, but whatever. Hey, Simon. It's Jesse. You're working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend? Or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Mr. you mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Uh, ooh, can I vacuum? Actually, oh. <laughs> Let me change the sensitivity. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, more books. Happy Minds, Albert... I can't open it. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Maybe I turn the sensitivity down too much. Open door. Do I like anime? Looks like I like anime. Get well soon. Love them. Aww, thanks, ma'am. Downtown accident kills young woman. Oh, so it was a real accident. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her child, children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bowler Street and Spadinia Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky as the car crashed into the passenger side. Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and Suffocated from blood, trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived, her friend and driver Simon Jarrett, 26, survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released by the police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Okay, then. Japanimation. <laughs> Japanimation! Oh my god, when's the last time you heard anime referred to as Japanimation? Uh, what's the other one? Oh, well, um... <laughs> That's a great text box there. Is that the one I grabbed? I can't tell. Whatever. Alright. David Mushi, thank you for again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. 
Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I've written you a prescription for Prezozin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicine accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I will see you next week. No doctors send you emails. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot, here's oh, me reminding you. Sense. Oh. Uh, then I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on the shelves where people can actually see them. Yes. Better late than never. Oh, I saw that old plush. He's so cute. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, can I read all these? Is that me and Ashley? Play Pace Lab. Feet! Alright then. Summer's Ooh. coming. Hope it's a good one. Ooh, kinda like the lens effect. Oh. Doors. Doors are hard. Random stuff. Can't take shower? I'm keep the doctor away. I'll shower when I get back. <laughs> okay, so he can't force you not to do specific things. Oh, okay. I actually like the the hand um, icon a lot. Massive recoil one. John Hugh is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner, who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. I was about to be really upset if that was an Xbox. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Well, there's no desk anyway, so... I saw along, but... Oh, is that my shirt? I want that shirt. I want that shirt in real life. Give me that shirt. Uh, cup. Man, I didn't even clean up. What did I eat? Apparently not being important. Oops. Well, didn't need that. I went to a pizza place. Woo! I love that you can just make a mess of things and it doesn't really matter. There it is. Oh, why would it be in here? Uh. Oh, uh, oh I guess I have to do it now. It's kind of a shame. I want, I want to explore more in this. like milk, but the taste. It's like sucking, sucking on a penny. Yeah. Sounds pretty accurate, actually, when it comes to medicine. Ah, drawers. How I miss them after the first time you did. Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. I got ranch. That's enough to last me. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Don't forget your keys. See Simon Jarrett. And can I not open it? It's from Canada. It is! Well, I think we're in Toronto. Alright, well, I'll go on my way. Mosey on down the street to my brain scan. That seems like a pretty normal procedure to have. 
Well, I apparently was in an accident. So. It's kind of cool to see the Amnesia guys doing something that isn't just, like, in kind of one big world and we're visiting different places. I like that lady's dress. That means she's evil. <laughs> Jesse! Why is he a. Jesse! Hey, Simon! I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time, working in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well. I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. That's a weird way to put it. When you were the driver of that accident. He overcame really fast. You're the worst Yeah, it's like supposedly ever. happened yesterday. I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down. I'm that girl in the red hair. Because she's on the phone. So? She's busy. Just say you're sorry. You're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That scene seemed almost pointless. Um, I think it established Jesse a little bit more. We still really don't know about the f character. It's been the first 15 minutes of the game. I don't know much about what's going on at all. <laughs> everybody's a zombie. I don't think everybody's a zombie. Everybody's a ghost? Yeah. This doesn't look like a healthy place to get a brain scan. When you see chairs and shit flipped over, you leave. I don't even think the game starts in here, to be honest, so... Oh, Canada! It's a Canadian flag! Oh, Canada! Oh, it's just painting shit. Yeah. Way to drop all the floors, guys. I'm gonna open paint. every window. Put some light in. Yes. And turn on every light. Okay. That would be super easy. We still have that power. Can I check the computer? Can I pick up this chair? You just did. Boom! Uh oh. I'm gonna see. Oh, I can't turn the chair. <laughs> Great, now it's stuck on its <laughs> Mistakes were made! A laptop and a desktop? Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me SAP. Um, hey, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use the computers to run models, and also if the time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peek will send somebody over. She has a patient that was currently in a car crash. Should be interesting. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us the code changed, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case you forget. Guess what I'm looking for? Where's the code? I kind of wish I could, like, see more. Um, if I turn on the light, can I see in there? This is the place, right? It must be. Oh. Convenient. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. And his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. How long is the code though? Oop. I didn't know I could jump! <laughs> Alright, one, four, two... Three, seven, six? Okay, well, that doesn't give me much of a confirmation. Check. 
chair, do you have it? Chair. Chair stand. Nope, that didn't. Oh wait, there, there are drawers here. I'm dumb. I can't have my white chair. <laughs> so it's right in my way now. Um, two five zero oh, one. Two five zero oh, one is what I will assume the code is. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but something happened. Put your scalpel away! The brain can heal itself! The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munshi, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with the simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. But Mushi and Berg are not looking for the miraculous, uh, panacea? Panacea? It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima Neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Mushi. Instead of a static brain scan, the Neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Dramatic brain scan, produce blah blah blah. Oh no, there's more! It is not a long forecast, it's about milliseconds, but with the right computer model, Berg and Mushi can then administrate all kinds of treatments without risk facing actual harm to the real brain. You could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon. It's just a computer model, we are able to fail treating you a million times over only to find the right, right way. And when they do find the optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. Uh, it's still in its early stages. Um... But their project has caught the attention of Pace Laboratories, who has promised to assist them, blah, 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 blah. No, I don't want that again. I want to shut the door. And now that we've done all this, I've forgotten the code. Oop, stop doing that. Nope. 2501. Alright, Cherry, sure, you're coming with me. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> What's up, bitches? I don't need to run. Monday, James. Alright, no fire hose action for me. Our first aid. I'm offended. Ah, let's avoid the really obvious open door. I kinda just like exploring in this game if you want me to be honest. Steve, all day. <laughs> all day, every day. More chairs. Syringes. Can I, like, are there any drawers? No? I cannot see a damn thing! Oh, wait, there are drawers. I, I seriously cannot see. <laughs> Chair. Serious. Yeah, give me one sec. Uh, Gamma. I think it looks like I can interact with it. I could turn on the light. I'm smart. So smart. Get the frick out of my way. I forgot lights exist in this game. Oh, whoa! This is a lot of stuff that I would have missed because I didn't turn on the light. Really good at this game. Alright. Whew. 
That looks uh, nice. I kind of want to turn everything off and be bad guy. Is there nothing else I can examine in here? Feels like I should be able to. Oh. Now I can open the store. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Yep. Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. No. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Um, let me um, snoop around your office. Oh, same posters. That makes sense. I'm not going to knock points about that. I don't want to sit down yet. I am gonna steal your mouse though. I'm just gonna slip that right in my pocket. Please, plate. have a seat. <laughs> Sorry, that's the first time I got to hit anybody. I was kind of happy. Can I talk so, to you more? What exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a like study, this will actually help me. No, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see anything else? a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Oh, he only has so long to live? Having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well... We probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, it's an interesting concept. What do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. Okay, so I can't talk to you anymore. There's nothing else to explore, so... Let's sit down in the death chair. <laughs> this just reminds me of an arcade game. <laughs> Wait, is Soma like a virtual reality? All it right, totally well, is. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. No. Uh, Canada, Munchie. No. Born 1988, July 16th. No, right. I'm not that old. Uh, paragraph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> um, that's Ready? a little dark, guys. Say cheese. The default pose. The finger. <sighs> this will be interesting. Hi, Keaters. What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? <laughs> what the fuck? This, this isn't okay. funny. So this to me... I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... Can I get up? This is kind of stressing me out. No, this has to hey. be like some virtual reality thing. Anyone? There's no way that like... This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's like Star Ocean till the end of time. What the fuck is that? Oh yeah, let's just pull random levers. Okay, well, 
That was a great idea. How did I get here? Nope. Don't open the door. We're not there yet. Do I need a scuba suit? Insert an Omni tool to access. Oh. <laughs> Omni Tool Chip Installer. Build, chip, and optimize your Omni Tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Hello, thing of the game I have to collect. Can I, like... Is there one in this room? And I missed it? The game took a very weird turn. I'm kind of curious what what the what's going on. This will be interesting. Yeah, all right. Well. It's the first puzzle, and I already feel dumb. I did get a random jump though, so it's that. I can't turn it back off. I can't crawl out. Oh! Alright, well I figured that out. Yeah, this is so safe. <laughs> oh, all I can think of is system shock. <laughs> <laughs> 